come with me on a journey, a year in the life of your ideal client. I'm Carolyn, your favorite marketing nerd and owner of Bad Axe Enterprises. I believe that you can rock your marketing without wrecking your mental health in the process. So let's do that. I use this exact process to plan an entire year of social media content and email content for my brand. It's a simple concept with what I would say are big results. To begin, you have to have your ideal client defined and defined really, really well. You have to know a lot about them because what we're gonna do is we're going to think about what they're going through each month of the year. So each month, it doesn't have to be things that necessarily have to even do with your brand. These can be things like, do they celebrate specific holidays? Do they travel certain times of the year? Do they have kids that are in school, out of school, have lifestyle choices that make particular points in the year more important to them? When is their busy season? When are things chill? When do they make certain decisions about certain things? So after brainstorming for a little bit about your ideal client's life, take some time to think about your services and products. When will your client need those things? How much warning and what kind of reminders do they need to take action on your offers? Do you have any business needs that are particularly timely? Sometimes you have to be really strategic about what you want while also giving clients what they need. So for example, I work with a lot of retail clients. So for those people, quarter four is just insane. Like shout out to my retail clients. <laughs> Um, I plan my content during quarter four to be much lighter, very focused on supporting folks through a time that is really busy. Instead of asking them to book a service or attend a workshop or things like that with me. So my content in quarter four shifts to really focused on being a supportive, helpful, resource-driven person who's like, you know, here's a resource for you, versus, hey, come to this class, pull attention from what you're stressed out about and pay attention to me, that's not what I'm doing in quarter four. Another example of planning content that supports both my business's needs and my ideal client's needs is when, when in the year I talk about websites. Um, so I choose a time of the year where I know that I'm going to get clients to be able to book for me to build their website um, when it's not stressful for them and also when it makes sense for me. So I like to do a lot of the website builds that I take on in a year during quarter one. Like I said, quarter four for a lot of my clients and potential clients, quarter four is super busy and stressful. I don't need them making a decision in quarter four, especially a decision that, you know, is costly. Like building a website isn't something that's super cheap and that you can do impulsively and have quick turnaround. It's a, it's a big project. It needs their attention, it needs my attention, so I don't want them making a choice for a website build in quarter four if they're a retail client. So when do I want them to make the decision, right? Like I want to be building the website, like contract signed, first payment made, already in quarter one. I don't want them to make that choice in quarter four. So when do I need to talk about websites? Quarter three, end of quarter two. So. I plan my content around the goal of having X number of websites ready to go to build in quarter one without stressing people out in quarter four, if that makes sense. I feel like those examples kind of start getting people's gears turning when they're thinking about how does their business life and the needs of their client meet to make a content plan. So get your pens and paper out, doodle up a year in the life of your ideal client, then start filling in ways that you can support them throughout the year with your products and services. And before you know it, you'll have the foundation of a nice 12 month marketing strategy for your business. Until next time, stay badass. You know what to do next. <laughs>